Do, 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 do. Hey everybody. So I haven't made a video in a while and I wanted to get back in that habit, especially with this recent price action in the SPY. And on my last video, I talked about how we were flirting with this past all-time high level of 33,908. And sure enough, on the first week of September, we closed below it. And that was the signal because we did not hold it for this down move that we have for about two weeks. And now things are getting interesting once again. Because in addition to looking at simple highs and lows in my trading, I also really, really love a 50% retracement. Some Fibonacci traders use it. It is one of the Fibonaccis, but it's also one of the simplest things to look for. And what I use for that is, depending on the platform that you're using, like in Thinkorswim, I want to draw a 50% retracement of the high that we made, the new all-time high on SPY, and the low that we made right here. Let's go down to the daily too. So I'm going to clean this up. The last high was 358.75. And the actual low, just to be exact, was 319.8. And so that actually gives us a 50% retracement at 339.28, which is close enough to that past all-time high. And I find that fascinating that we have a confluence of resistance, this last major high that everyone was looking at. And if you looked here, we did a little hesitation there because everyone knows where that high is. So people have their orders there. People may be hesitating to see if we break it. Sure enough, we broke above it. And you could call this a false breakout because it came up all the way up to here. A lot of people may have jumped in trying to play it as a breakout and they got slaughtered. But we could have actually found support down here. And if you were looking in the past, you might have been able to say that it could have come to this level right here, these past supports. Another one people could have been shooting for was the supports from June. Either way, it's good to look for these simple highs and lows to see where a support and resistance might be. And now, once again, we have this past all-time high, 339, matching up with the 50% retracement of this last move. I find that interesting. I'm going to be watching very closely for when we get up to this level right here. The problem with this is we don't really have any highs and lows really to match up recently. Price just bounced around here, but it's going to be a very, very interesting level to watch once again. If, if we can get above it again, now we're in that bullish territory. If we come up here and hold it, well, that's bearish. So once again, we can use that level to have a sentiment on the market. So I'd like to thank you all for checking back in with me on my channel, and I'm going to be working on a series on how I trade, where I'm going to lay out some of these details about highs and lows and 50% retracements in some more detail for people that have asked for a sort of a mini course, and also put it together for people that hopefully it can help them find some trading ideas. So I'll see you in that next video.